And welcome back. Well, the Guest House of Milwaukee offers shelter and innovative programs to people in need, including the homeless who are struggling in the cold weather that we're having right now. It's too cold. For sure it is to be homeless. Amy Rowell and Eric Kepnick are here to share ways that you can help support their mission. Hi, guys. Great to see Good you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, um, this is a really tough, I mean, any time of year is difficult to be homeless, but right, right. now I think everybody's heart aches for people who don't have shelter. Absolutely. And for those that don't know about the Guest House, um, we're Milwaukee's largest publicly funded shelter on any given night we're housing 86 men in shelter but this time of year we've opened up overflow we have an additional 15 to 17 beds just to open up some additional options for those to get out of the extreme temperatures and mm -hmm. are you full almost every night yes yes really? we're our, our regular program of the 86 um, has a waiting list um, and then overflow has been near capacity every wow. night what are some of the challenges that you guys face you know housing that many people Certainly. Um, obviously, supplies and that sort of thing. Um, right now, we're really short on cold weather gear, um, hats, gloves, scarves, boots, jackets, that sort of thing. Oftentimes, when the guests come to us, they don't have some of those essential items. Mm -hmm. And so we network in the community to try and get those things for the guys. Will you take gently used items? Absolutely, like we that? will. Okay, Certainly. so new or gently used. Absolutely. And they can be dropped off anytime. Our shelter is located at 1216 North 13th Street, which is between McKinley and Juneau. And mm -hmm. we have someone in the office 24-7. So it's really really convenient to drop off donations. Yeah, that's great. You know, a lot of people want to get involved and do something, whether it's, you know, because of the Lenten season or just in general, they want to get involved in something. What kind of opportunities do you have for volunteers right now? Right now, with all the extra um, folks in the building throughout the day because of the cold temperatures, we really need some food. Um, we have a sandwich program that we always are in need of sandwiches. We give them out to our guests and also to people who come up and ring our doorbell. Is that um, like people would bring sandwiches to be able to give out to yes. those staying there? Yep, okay. they provide them to us so that we can give them out. Mm -hmm. um, and then also our meal program. So we don't have funding for food. We depend on community groups providing a hot meal for 86 men every night of the year. Wow. And so we have a rotating calendar that people can get on to help serve a meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a way that people can volunteer is mm -hmm. by serving meals right there in the facility. Yes. Are there other ways that people can help by volunteering their time? Yeah, they can volunteer their time by helping with our employment program, teaching classes to our guys to help them get the skills they need to get jobs. Um, they can also help uh, in our front office and dispensary, handing out supplies and just working with the guys in the day-to-day -day stuff that goes on at the guest house. Is it, is it only men or men and women that you house? We have men that live on site and shelter. Mm -hmm. And then we have 330 units that we support through case management that are permanent supportive housing. And that's men, women, and families. Okay. So we'll take donated items for, for any group within that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's really exciting about the guest house that I think people might not understand we're really committed to developing the whole person um, and really focusing on what was their cause of homelessness and how can we end that cycle. So it's not just individuals that are coming in to have a warm, warm place to sleep, which some of them that may be, um, but really for the overwhelming majority, these are really hardworking guys that have just fallen on a hard time and they're committed to getting uh, into their own sustainable, permanent, supportive housing. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think that's really exciting and something to mention that the guest house does really well. Um, is just an all around inclusive programming. Yeah, you have very innovative programs. Yes so that you're trying to not just give people shelter, right. but sort of, for lack of a better word, fix the reason why someone might right. be homeless. So that probably right. includes things like addiction programs, Absolutely. mental health, yeah. um, job, career type all programs. All of those. Yeah, you, you've done your homework well. <laughs> all of those things. We're very proud of the way that, that we do our programming. And yes, we have on-site alcohol and other drug addiction counseling, mental health, um, you know, things that, that aren't really attractive to talk about. Um, this, is, this is a more difficult mission to raise funds and awareness for. Um, it's, it's not very attractive. It's not mm -hmm. puppies, kittens, or children. Um, it's, it's adult men. And there's so many misconceptions about yeah. the causes of homelessness. Mm -hmm. I remember I, I used to work a lot for homeless shelters in college. We would volunteer a lot. And I was surprised that the majority of the men that were in the homeless shelter uh, were veterans. Who, yes. who had PTSD and problems that cycled, you know, through addiction and, and whatnot to kind of get over some of those problems. And, right. you know, the, the misconceptions that you have of why someone's there oftentimes is not the reason Absolutely. that 20, they're there. Absolutely. 20% of our, on average, 20% of our, our guys and residents are veterans. Yeah. Um, and we're really about, you know, the hope and dignity aspect. How can we give hope back? How can we restore dignity? Um, you know, what's more motivating about a mission? You can gift somebody dignity. How exciting is yeah. that? 
Yeah, definitely. And what about things, um, other ways that people can help, either um, um, events that you have coming up yeah. or fundraisers that give people an opportunity to give? Yeah, no, I'm glad that you asked because next week on February 24th, we're going to be at California Pizza Kitchen in uh, the Bayshore Mall location. And if you go to our website, which is guesthouseofmilwaukee.org, and download this flyer, um, bring it, present it to your waiter or waitress um, at the time that you're paying, and 20% of the proceeds will be donated to the guest house. That's so great. That's just one of many ways. Our website. Eric does a great job maintaining our website. Um, we have lots of opportunities to help um, the, the guys in residence and in our permanent housing. Mm -hmm. So people can pick up or rather download this flyer by either going to guesthouseofmilwaukee.org or, mm -hmm. or they can go to our website too. We yep, put it mm -hmm. up there, themorningblend.com. So here's the information again on a way that you can help. It's a wonderful event going on for the guest house. It's pizza with a purpose. Download the flyer we just showed you by going to guesthouseofmilwaukee.org org or you can go to themorningblend.com you'll get 20 percent off at california pizza kitchen that's at bay shore um, on tuesday february 24th so next week on tuesday and here's the information for the guest house if you'd like to find out more volunteer or find out more about their mission it's 414-345-3240 is the phone number we gave the website they're located on north 13th Street in Milwaukee and always taking your donations of gently used or new, especially cold weather gear Absolutely. right now for children, women, and the men that you serve. Um, you can drop those off anytime, 24 hours a day. And just Thanks, to guys. clarify, it's not a 20% off coupon. Okay. It's 20% of the proceeds will be donated to the guest house. Okay, so it's not 20% off. It's 20% right. of the proceeds right. from Pizza with a Purpose go to support Absolutely. the guest house. Thank you for yes. clarifying. Thank you.